Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play review. Today we have Rise of Legions. So this seems like a Clash Royale kind of clone. And you can make like three different decks, there's like three different races. Actually there's four, but one of them's like super small, it seems more like a support kind of faction than it will, the other three, which are your like main factions. You have Undead, Human, and Plant. I guess that's what we're gonna call them. We're gonna call them plant, but they just call them like I think it's black for undead, green for plant people, and white for the knights, human people. So this game is pretty neat. It, the reason it reminds me of Clash, Roy Clash Royale is because it's like a multiplayer game, and you summon units, and they run down the lane, and then they try to take the towers, and then eventually make it to the opponent and destroy their main base. You also get spawners in this game, which is kind of cool. I like the units, they're all pretty neat. They have like a plethora of abilities that, that like usually intertwine. I think that's like the main thing of the game, which I think is pretty interesting. Instead of just like getting the most OP units, which is still a factor in the game, the units actually like, some of them, it, their abilities like intertwine with each other, which is really cool. They also make this, this is a semi pay to win game like you can buy the best units right off the bat if you want to but you can also earn them too there's nothing keeping you from getting it for free except for the grind <laughs> that's the one thing keeping you from the most OP units in the game and not spending money is the large grind that you're gonna have to do but if you enjoy playing these games then it might not bother you that bad and also I think if you play it well, I'm not good at these games. <laughs> this is like my first experience with them, really. I think if you play them well, you can actually outplay people. To uh, to an extent. If somebody bought the best cards right off the bat, you're probably screwed. But now's a good time to get into it. If you don't want to deal with that too much, you could probably face some new people. And this is another thing you can do. Once your cards level up, you can ascend them to a higher rank. Which gives you like better things. Like you can more charges of the unit, so you can summon them quicker. So it's uh, the grind actually helps you. So outside of just like buying, getting the best cards in the game, you can like actually strengthen the cards you already have by playing and using them. I feel like the undead class is like kind of weak, but this might be because I suck at the game. But <laughs> it felt super weak to me. Uh, I just kind of picked it because I thought the units looked cool, and I always liked the undead kind of factions. But in most games, the undead factions are like the hardest to play. Like in Warcraft Three. And stuff like that. You usually have to play them in a super intricate way. But I played this for a pretty good amount of time. And I was just like. I'm going to spam the units. And hopefully win. I, the AI battles that you just saw me into, into, enter into. Have different difficulty ranking ratings. And the more difficult the better things you can get from it. And I can only do bronze so far. I don't really have that many good units. But that reaper dude's like my favorite and his ability is like if he kills things or anything dies near him he gets more at max hp there's cool like there's really cool abilities that work well with each other and you have to have like a pretty good balance of how many summon units you put in your deck versus spawning because when you spawn units you get higher income when you put a spawner on a thing and the more units you spawn the more blue coins you get in the bottom left you can tell and the more coins of that the more spawners you can put so you want to be summoning units and spawning units at the same time so you can get as high like most efficient economy as you can while you're trying to push down the thing that's what I think the point of these games are is just to like have the most efficient economy with like the best abilities pretty simple right no it's not because I suck at this game <laughs> I'm gonna include my first play PvP game in the end and that was before I even did like the AI stuff, so I was still brand new and it was just a slaughter. I was like, ah, stop, <laughs> stop killing everything. <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> so once you destroy a tower and you take the spot, you can summon your units further down the map. So I'm kind of curious if people have like super huge comebacks in this type of game. This is probably because I suck, but <laughs> it just seems like once somebody gets a lead, it's really hard to come back. Because <laughs> you get towers. But it's a neat game. I, I thought it was pretty fun. They keep it pretty interesting because you can progress a lot of things. You can progress yourself through your levels. Your units can progress. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of good stuff in this. 
And I really like the abilities and how they intertwine, like I said. That's probably one of the better things. So it's not just about... It's, it has some strategy in it. That's good, because most games like this, it's basically whoever just puts down the biggest unit's going to win. But this actually takes a little bit of strategy and play around. And you unlock cards, and when you unlock cards, it feels super rewarding. I'll go over how you unlock them in a bit after I show you pretty much the end of the battle, how you win. Once you get a pretty big force, it's pretty hard for the AI to stop them. I would assume it would be the same for players. Because some of the units can heal back and all kinds of craziness. So once you get a pretty big force and you just keep summoning, you should win, hopefully. <laughs> if you lose, I feel for you. But one thing I will say though is that since you have to unlock things and things take leveling up mainly for you to get a stronger force, the game can kind of stagnate once you get to a certain strength and you just have to like grind it out which can be super boring unless you just love this kind of game concept and you really enjoy it. The one thing I don't know if the balance in this game is too good, because it seems like every unit outranges the freaking undead ones. <laughs> I hate it. I'm gonna keep complaining about how the undead feels weak to me, and then they're probably gonna be like end up being like the strongest tier class or something. <laughs> I'm, st I'm stating it now. Undead feels super weak to me. <laughs> But this is a good game, and this is a good time to get into it because you don't have to worry about everybody being super OP. You probably have to worry about that in the future where everybody's just so strong, but then you can build up through the AI, which is neat. There's only one game mode for the AI, which kind of sucks, but yeah. But uh, here you can see how you get XP and how your minions get XP. But there's a lot of different difficulties for it, so it's super challenging. Also, they got a lot of ways for you to get your coins to unlock the cards. And these are the legions. Okay, so this is where you can see your different factions. And mouse over them, figure out what you need to do to unlock cards. Because if you're playing free to play, you can't unlock certain cards until you do certain things with the faction. Like this one, you have to kill 30 frozen units to unlock it. And you basically just have to play a good bit and like do certain things, use certain cards. Which adds depth to the game and it makes it where you can unlock everything and then you have the free way to do it and you have the paid way you don't have to unlock the card if you're going to do it for the I'm going to spend my money kind of way but this game gets a 6.5 out of 10 because it does a lot of things that are really interesting in this genre and seems pretty fun and it's not super pay to win but this is the game where I just get demolished but if you like after if, if you Enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching as always. Bye!